From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In 2010, American Scientist magazine referred to phosphorus as a low-profile element. Judging by most people's knowledge of phosphorus, that assessment isn't far off. It's one of those things that most people don't know much about. Yet this modest reputation belies the crucial importance of this element. Phosphorus is present in every living thing, a vital part of crop cell production and therefore an irreplaceable part of the modern agricultural system. So what happens when we run out? And why do some people think we've already passed the tipping point? Here's where it gets crazy. You've probably heard of peak oil, but some analysts are more concerned with peak phosphorus. The idea here is that modern agricultural methods coupled with population booms may deplete the world's supply of this vital substance within as little as 50 years. In traditional agricultural methods, farmers recycle phosphorus by using human and animal waste as fertilizer. This way, the phosphorus excreted by people and livestock can be reapplied to the soil. But with the advent of Norman Borlaug's Green Revolution and modern agricultural techniques, manure application became unfeasible at a large scale, leading to phosphorus mining in transit, meaning that the phosphorus used in much of the world's fertilizer has traveled a great distance from its origin point. Additionally, the global food distribution system also moves phosphorus across the world, eventually ending up in local environments or in water sources like rivers and lakes. So why is this important? First, this phosphorus can take millions of years to naturally mineralize into a usable resource. Second, waterborne phosphorus can create algae blooms, draining water sources of oxygen in a process called eutrophication, a vital threat to freshwater supplies and aquatic ecosystems. Third, and most importantly, without phosphorus in fertilizer, the fertilizer itself becomes useless, and without potent working fertilizer, the planet cannot generate enough food to support the current human population. This leads to, in theory, starvation on a massive scale, with a death toll higher than any other famine in human history. Several international associations and investors like Jeremy Grantham have raised alarming warnings about the future of agriculture, global food supply, and phosphorus. But, at this point, it isn't treated with the same amount of attention reserved for concerns over fossil fuels or climate change. Why? Is the future of food an issue that simply doesn't concern most people, despite the potential for skyrocketing cost, the enormous expense to agribusiness, and the potential for mass starvation? Or is there something else to the story and the lack of people telling it? Something they don't want you to know. <laughs>